Hello, Paul Hamilton here from UTV. We're going to create this Memoji personalized GIF or GIF, uh, depending where you come from. Um, we're going to make this today in Keynote. So it's super cool to do, um, super easy to do. And the great thing is it's got that nice transparent background so you can layer it in all of your presentations. So it's like a, a, a looping GIF. Um, and once again, is if I change my background in Keynote, for example, and make it dynamic, you can see that it's still going to work. And you can kind of layer this and customize it for the presentations that you're about to give. Um, you can see there that it's working kind of with that transparent background, um, which is cool. Uh, a little bit like the motion graphics tutorials I've done in the past. So why don't we have a crack at making this? It's super easy to do. So... What we're going to need to do is obviously uh, jump into messages and we're going to have to create um, a quick video. So if you just go down there and go to your Memoji uh, down the bottom here and you kind of create your live video. So when I open this up, you can see my little avatar. You can create your own if you want. And what we just need to do is basically grab a or record. So come down to the right hand corner here and record maybe anywhere from a five to nine, 10 second quick video. Don't worry about audio, just do lots of facial expressions. Um, maybe look up to the side um, if you're gonna put some text on the side um, and just make sure that it's not too long because we don't wanna convert a really long video. Make it about five, six, seven, anywhere up to 10 seconds um, in length. Once we've done that, just send that to yourself and then you can see it's popped up here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tap on this on my iPad uh, look at the video and at the top right hand corner you'll see that I can share that video and I can save that video to my camera roll and that will have that beautiful transparent background you'll see that in a moment so that's sent there to hopefully let's just check I think it's in our photos there it is there it looks like a black background but it's transparent uh, when I open it um, it will be great to use so let's put this all together. We're going to jump into our favorite app our Swiss Army knife app which is our keynote we're going to go up to plus and create a new white blank canvas. Now, if you're new to Keynote, you can do a long press and drag over the things that you want to select and do a quick delete, little efficiency tip there from me. And what we're going to do is we'll go up to our three dots and we'll go down to our document settings and document setup, sorry. And we're just going to change this to like a GIF size. So we're going to go to custom and we're going to make it relatively small. So GIFs need to be reasonably small so that we're not having too much information on them. So we're going to go 500 by 500, make it square. Um, and it's a relatively um, kind of low res. So we're going to go up there. We're going to change the background just to a gray for now because it's easy to work with. We'll make it transparent later. And what we're going to do, this is our canvas. We're going to go to plus. We're going to add that Memoji video that we just created. And you can see there, it is transparent. Um, you can resize it and have a play with it, but don't worry too much about that yet. And I'm going to put an iPad Pro in front of me because I work a lot on iPad um, and I don't like the Mac versions and the stuff that they've already got. So I'm going to bring in an image I found of um, an iPad Pro. Oh, it's got the yucky white background. So I'm going to go up to my paintbrush. I'm going to go to image and go to instant alpha and get rid of that really quickly by dragging um, my finger or Apple pencil over it. Press done. How good does that look? Okay, and then I'm just going to position it. And what I'll need to do is kind of try and use up as much of my canvas as possible. I don't want it really small in a corner. Make it really big. Um, and then what you can do is you can arrange your different things. You can put it behind. You can bring in some text if you want. Um, you want to make sure that your facial kind of expressions come up over the side. So when you play that, you want to make sure you see a bit of your face, kind of give that perception of depth and uh, behind the iPad Pro itself, which is cool. And then if you want to get really tricky, what you could do, I'll just do a little bit of resizing there. You can start to, if you know Keynote, you can start to put in some text and some other objects around. I wouldn't go too crazy with this because you want to keep it pretty simple. But you could, like I've done in my demo, put some little words on the side here. So let me just put it here. And what you can do is you can an animate. So right, sorry, tap on your text and you can go to the next arrow and animate that and do some build-ins. So it actually comes in at different times. So when you export it as a GIF, you've got those different elements coming in and then building out. We won't go into that today. That's probably another tutorial, um, but you can customize it um, really well. So let's just delete that. Let's just stick with that for now and show you the process of exporting. So this is all looking good. I'm going to press play. 
I'm just gonna tap on it, make sure that I'm really, really happy with it. I could use up the canvas a little bit more, but I'm not gonna stress. And then I, all I need to do then is go up to my three dots, export. Oh, I forgot something. Most important thing, go up to your paintbrush and change your background to no fill. Super important so that you don't have a background, all right? Um, that is the most important part of this is to make sure that you're able to layer your GIF down. So now I'm going to go up to export, three dots, export, animated GIF or GIF. Um, I've only got, um, I've got small, medium and large. Now just be aware that if you try and do extra large and large, it might shut down Keynote, it might be too much. Make sure your transparent background is toggled on. Make sure that you can see how long it goes for. You don't want a long video. Once again, the large and the extra large might blow it out a little bit. So I'm going to go with a small, but the higher the quality that you can get away with, um, kind of choose that. But it's going to blow out your file size a little bit. Once I'm happy with that, I might just go with a small. I'm going to go to export. It'll put it together pretty quickly. I'm going to go to share. It'll give me a preview. So you don't need to save it until you're happy with your preview. And then all you're going to do is press share and you're gonna save that image to your camera roll, which is a GIF, which is a kind of image file as you go through. And so now if we go back to our original, all I need to do is I've got one working there and I can move it around. You can see transparent background, but if I go up to my camera roll, oh, by the way, yeah, put your text and your other things next to your GIF. Don't put them all in the GIF because it'll pixelate the text and make it look um, a little bit dodgy. So don't do that. Make sure that you've got um, just your animation and build around it. So if I go up now to my photos and videos, there's my GIF that I just created. You can see there, I can make it bigger. It's got that beautiful transparent background. So I've got that beautiful layering. Yep, that's looking really good. Really happy with that. And if you click on your GIF, it's like a movie file too. So if you go up to your paintbrush at the top, you can control how it runs. So you might have it looping backwards and forwards. You might turn off start on tap and I might turn off the start on tap on this one too, so that when I play my, my keynote, they're gonna both happen at the same time. You can see both my GIFs are actually going, which is, um, which is impressive. It's like a movie file. So there you go. I hope you found that useful, super easy to do. Once you get into keynote, you'll find you'll produce some magical stuff. Please share it with other teachers. We are better collectively together than we are in isolation. So please share your great tips. By the way, quick plug to finish off. If you do a quick search for UTV, you will find me and the team there and you can call on us for any training. Um, we do, we're traveling lots at the moment, getting into schools and enterprise and business and organizations. We do Apple training, Microsoft training, Google training, all of it. And we, you, I can almost guarantee you're going to find a really amazing trainer for the platform that you need training in. So jump on the website, give us a call, chat with us, contact us, and we'll talk to you soon. Paul Hamilton here from UTB.